Okay. Even hold on, even if they are working full time, those guys here. E sort of. Sort of, but not really. Um oh. Question is Oh what? No, it's not for you. Oh okay. She's making notes. Of course I am. I'm I just made made a note about where I'm missing money. I'll go and look for him. There's the <laughs> uh high tech science packs and we need to do the production science packs. And military as well at some point. Uh so the production science packs. Hold on, just one one thing. In order to make the beacons effect transmission, we have access to it right now. We just need high tech science packs. We don't need production. <clears throat> uh, where is it? Where is effect transmission here? We just need high tech science packs, so we will do high tech science packs right now. Uh, now, if we want to make high tech science packs, we need heat driven mechanical random number analyzer. That's the, that's the name. Right. Apparently, it rapidly generates an enormous amount of random numbers mechanically while being bombarded with virtual particles to analyze any local bias in quantum fields and in virtual particle matter distortion. <laughs> My goodness. That's a mouthful. <clears throat> we need the virtual particle injector and we need the capacitor bank. So three items. Do you know what this, I, feel, this, who I this. feel like right now? No, do you know who I no. feel like right now? Uh, all those people who didn't understand a word that Bilbo said during his birthday party. Oh, uh, I like half of you as... It's a long Hold on. one. How was it? Um, uh, it's a really, really long one. I, I need to uh, find it. Wait, wait. Where is it? Wait, I will try to find it. I don't know half of you, half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you, half as well as you deserve. That's the one. I That's had to look one. it up because there's absolutely no way of me remembering that one. <clears throat> uh, it makes two in 14 seconds, or in 14 unit times. Unit. In 14 time units. What? This one makes 1 in 12, so we would need 7 times 2, 14 to match the, the ratio. And it needs 1 of each. 1 of each. Okay. Uh, 1 of each is going to be a little bit tricky. But I'm thinking if we do it like... no. Oops, 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 oops. Not like this, not like this. So have a one input belt here. Uh, inserters. Seriously. Uh, inserters, then another Another input belt here, or even here, <clears throat> and an output belt here, and another output belt here. That could work. And then go like so. And you guys would be making high-tech science. 
and input belt here. Yep. That means we are outputting here one, two, three, and four. <clears throat> output, output, output. Uh, long inserter input. Uh, power poles. Two, three, uh, hold on, is that aligned? So, one, two, and three. Will this reach the other side? No, it will not. So we still need to, actually thinking of putting it here, just so it looks nicer. Just so it looks nicer. <clears throat> so we want to underground this part. Um, can I please have some red ones? Because I don't want to deal with the uh, with the with getting yellow ones anymore. And uh, here. And we'll place a power pole here, 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 and here. Or <clears throat> more like the robots will do that for us. Okay. There's also the question of getting stuff inserted on the other side as well. Let's I, do it like I, I this. Need to, I need to move. I'm sorry. Let's do it like this. And uh, one, two, and three. Extend this belt. This one is fine. And then have this go and merge up here. Hold on, this will output on this side of the belt. No, nope. This would be better. Okay. Now, math problem. We need 14, One per second, right? One per second. One capacitor bank per second. One capacitor bank per second, which means we need 14 of those guys. That is a lot of resources. And I'm seriously considering limiting those. 14 assemblers making capacitor banks and you have this as a waste byproduct which produces both iron ore and copper ore <clears throat> okay uh you need iron plate batteries and copper cable Iron plate, batteries, and copper cable. The batteries are coming up from somewhere here, right? Uh, yeah, there's the battery line. So we could actually have it, can we actually split it off and have it go here somewhere? It's highly unpractical though.
I would much rather prefer to have it come from some other place because they are made here. What if we just loop around, uh, loop around and have them come from down below? Mm. I don't know. Or even have those capacitor thingies done here. Nah. Nah. Or have the batteries come here and down here and have them done here. Yeah, well. <clears throat> That can be arranged. Get rid of the dead trees, thank you. Now, iron plate, batteries, and copper cable. So we will need 15 copper cable per second which is very easy to get. If, uh, 10 iron plate per second, which is very easy to get, and one battery per second, which is, I guess, okay. I guess it's fine. Oops. Batteries. Let's just connect those batteries first. Uh, it's quite convenient that it splits off here already. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not just do it like this? Okay, so we got the batteries coming. Uh, next thing to do is grab another belt of copper and have it... Uh, we're not producing anything here. But this belt... is almost fully used. Well, we do need only how many copper cables? 15 per second. 15 per second. Still quite a lot of copper cable, right? We already made this a yellow belt to match the production here. If we make it a blue belt, it will be better. Okay, so we can actually borrow this belt, I think, to make the copper cable. <clears throat> and we need 15 per second, which means that um, which means that uh, we need eight, four assemblers, four assemblers making copper cable. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, that's not bad. That, that's that's quite fine. I'm thinking we can make the... Yeah, there will be more um, side products here, so maybe save this space for more uh, smelting. And have those guys done here so uh copper cable this thing capacitor bank 
iron plate, uh, batteries, and copper cable. 10 iron plate, 15 copper cable. Let's see, how do we, how do we do this? Um, we need how many of those? 14, I said. 14, right? Ah, he wasn't. Two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. Uh, inserter, belt, 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 inserter, assembler. Let's see. Um... Did I do it right? No, I didn't. So we will get a uh, copper cable here, copper cable here. This will be the output, I suppose. Yeah. This can be the output. This will be the iron. And the batteries will need to go on an outside belt. Um, yeah. Batteries will go on an, on an outside belt. Uh, Okay. So this is the battery belt. This is the copper uh, batteries. And delete this, please. Okay. Come batteries, come. We shall split them like so and have uh have them go here. So this is batteries, batteries. Are we not in range of a robot port here? We are not. Uh, I'm thinking there is a free spot here. We put a uh, robot port here. And another one. Another one can go here, sure. So batteries, batteries, uh, iron, iron, copper, copper, and the output belt. Might have to make the output belt red, we shall see. The copper, hold on, no, 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 no not copper, not copper, uh, copper wire. Was supposed to be copper wire. Yep, copper cable. Which means uh, we will grab copper from here. And I said four assemblers, I believe. I think I said four assemblers. Uh, one, 
One, two, three. That will be four. Have the copper come in from here. <clears throat> and the copper wire will come out like this. Was this supposed to be the iron belt? Eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Or does it? Yes. Uh, maybe it does a little. Okay. Maybe it does just a little. Uh... So... And like so. Okay, uh, copper wire, copper wire. Can I please have some? No. What do you mean no? <laughs> what, no? What do you mean no? No, right away. No. Can't have Seriously. anything. Seriously. No. Oh my goodness. Hmm. This will be copper input. Input, input, input. And here, output will be done with long handed inserters. What are you laughing at? I'm snickering. Laughing. What are you snickering at? Snickering at? Long hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Because of reasons. I think I didn't mess up the order. We shall see. Uh, this can power this, this can power this. Here and here. Here and here. And one more here. And then we go underground this guy. Underground this guy. And Paul, Paul, and Paul. One, two, okay, three. <clears throat> All right. So this will be two full belts of copper wire. Well, maybe not full, but they will be equally distributed on both sides, hopefully. You are making copper wire, thank you. That's it. Good. Uh, the last thing you need is iron plates, which we will put on those two belts. Um, 
which makes me think that we do want to have it have it like so uh would need to be a full red belt i have no idea i don't want to do the math right now uh question is where do we bring it from do we just extend the bus and bring it directly from up above or do we try to compress it here? I think if we go from here, it will look a little nicer. Mm. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, which belt do we want to grab from? Uh, this one is going up here. Yeah, this one. This one will be fine. Uh, also, you, sir, are supposed to go here. Don't know what happened there. No idea. Don't want to know. So if we are grabbing from this belt, no, this belt, right? E nope, this belt. We need to underground this part and this part. Okay. Incoming iron. Jeremy iron. Oh no. No you didn't. No you did. Oh my goodness. I'm turning my headset on to full now. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the bad pawn sauna. Okay, this should be the correct ratio if we are producing enough batteries per second, that is. It should be enough stuff to <clears throat> feed this whole thing here. Now, the other thing is that the capacitor bank comes with byproducts. And a lot of them. Which makes me think that we might have to get more uh, long-handed inserters to output stuff. Because look at the, all those byproducts here. Oh, those byproducts. There will be quite a few. It makes five, so five per second, basically. Five per second. Um, and we will want to filter them out. We will want to filter them out. Probably somewhere here. and feed them into the uh, smelters. But the, the thing is that there's also iron that is going to come out. Oh. How can I do this? 
so that we are space efficient. But also deal with this thing nicely. <clears throat> We are we are making those things, right? Yes. So we do want a we do want a splitter that will output priority hold on output filter I want you to filter the waste byproducts on the left side. I said waste byproducts on the left side. Waste byproduct on the left side, and yeah, I think we'll we'll just do it here. I think we will just do it here. So, how much waste byproduct will there be? There will be five per second. Uh, in order to manage that, uh, those are uh, every half a second we need two waste byproducts to create ores uh which means <clears throat> which means that um, we will get oh We will need like three, three assemblers only. Looks like it, right? I think it's like three assemblers. Uh, could just make it one on one side even. one two three assemblers but we also need smelting hold on yeah that's fine that's fine we can start from here one two three three assemblers consuming those waste byproducts outputting Um, stuff. Uh, no, not like this. Can't do it like this. Okay, never mind then. Uh, outputting ores. Then those though the ore will need to be processed in furnaces oh steel furnaces that's uh one Two, three. Uh, four furnaces. Which will output stuff. Actually, I want them to output stuff on one belt. Why? Ah, uh, two. Two belts uh, that merge here 
And then we filter iron on the right side. We filter iron on the right side and the copper will go on the left side. Okay. That will work. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Power it up. Um, yeah, sure. And, uh, two. Those are not powered. This is a mess. I don't like it. What is a mess? That? This is no longer a mess. Okay. Cable management, honey. Cable management. All right, now the ready product needs to go here. And uh, seeing how we have the capacitor bank, hold on, one each, right? One each. The capacitor bank will share a belt. No, the capacitor bank goes here, right? Yeah, middle middle belt can do can do middle belt. There we go. Let the robots deal with it. Uh... Next thing on the menu, virtual particle injector. So what we did just now is, thank you, thank you robots. All this waste byproduct thing will be shipped here changed into both copper and iron ore. Oh, I see a problem here. Assembler is working too fast. Uh, it has no place to output. Are you guys smelting fast enough? All oh, right, we are not we are not sending those yet. We didn't connect this. We didn't connect this. Um I am thinking of doing it like that. So we will grab this belt over here that this to have input priority on the left side. So this belt will constantly be consumed. Uh, and as for the copper line, hmm. as for the copper line, we will do the same here. So, um, Go off to here. Uh, get a splitter. Preferably a red one. Do we? Yeah, let's do. And input priority on the left. Okay. That should 
work just fine. Yeah, they, they are producing enough. Uh, those are smelting enough. There is no backlog here, which is, it makes me very happy. It makes me a very happy panda. But there is no backlog. There is, oh, no, there is no backlog here either. Good. 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 And good. Awesome. Never better. Mm, let's see. We'll, we'll have a short break. And after the break... Oh. Uh, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then tomorrow. Uh, after the break, we'll try to figure out how to do the rest of the stuff for the high-tech science in this weird, but actually quite nice mod. Uh, yeah, virtual par particle injectors, heat-driven mechanical random number analyzers. Uh-huh. Be right back. <laughs> 